In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, uh, the beneficent, the creator of the worlds, my Father God, Allah, Abba, uh, I come to y'all in peace and blessing. Peace and blessing be upon Abraham. Peace and blessing be upon Moses. Peace and blessing be upon the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon Master Frog Muhammad, who came over here and rose up a Georgia-born man. Mm -hmm. Peace and blessing be upon the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Uh, peace and blessing be upon the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Peace and blessing be upon uh, the rest of the worthy servants of Allah. And peace and blessing be upon the future servants of Allah yet to come. Uh, I hope y'all take y'all's time and continue to take your time. Uh, one day at a time, little by little. Keep that in mind. Not everything is going to be done for you at one time. I know you won't stop the work. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> it don't. <laughs> you must take the good with the bad, my brother or sister. Because you can't have one without the other. All right? <clears throat> you can't have ups without downs, fouls without free throws, daytime without nighttime. You experience this every 24 hours. All right? You got 12 hours a day. You got 12 hours a night. Sometimes things gonna be sunny and smooth. Sometimes they not. <laughs> nighttime. It's the reason for nighttime. Stars only shine at night. You are a star, my brother or sister. And in the darkest hours of your life, you can shine ever so bright like a star in the midst of the night. If you allow the process to do what God our Father intend for it to do. All right. If I keep on talking, all glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. All right. Well, I'm going to try to shorten the intro and just get straight to the point, I guess. <laughs> uh, you know, present day America 2024. Go to Matthew chapter 18, Matthew chapter 19. Verse 16, the title say, the rich and the kingdom of God. Uh, just then, uh, Matthew 19, verse 16, say, just then a man came up to Jesus and asked, teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? I like the fact he asked that question. He said, teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? The young man was a rich man. But obviously, he was looking, he wanted something beyond riches. You know, most of us, they don't, people don't talk like that. When the last time you hear someone ask, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? The brother wants to live forever. Don't you know, my brothers or sisters? God want, Allah, want us to live forever. Uh, man. Listen, man. The brother had eternal life in mind. Eternal life not in the people's minds. In our minds, get money. Make rich. That's what the people put in our mind, right? In modern day, the world is get money. That's all people can think about doing is get rich. The rich is not everything. Money is a nice tool to have. Don't get me wrong. But it's not everything. It's helpful, but it's not everything. All right? The young man asked him a great question. He said, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? He want to live forever. <laughs> Listen, man, life go on. It's not in our minds. It's not in most of our minds <laughs> about life, <laughs> uh, living forever. In fact, the people don't focus. They don't project that. You know, they, they, don't, even, they don't even want that to enter y'all's mind like that. <laughs> but you got to live. You got to, you're going to go somewhere one day. You got to live forever. <laughs> You gonna live that whether you want to or not. Where it's gonna be, that choice is up to you. It's rather you're gonna be living forever in paradise or you're gonna be living forever in hell. But it's one of the two. You gonna live forever. I told you, modern day people more tech people more technical. They more technical advanced. You got y'all got cell phones, iPhones, this and that, computers and stuff like that. Y'all no more terms to to words. You see what I'm saying? 
But the old day people, they didn't have all the technology. They didn't have hmm, uh, a lot of words, but they were very more smart. You see what I'm saying? What you mean? As you, you go look at each and every ancient civilization, they believe in afterlife. The number one I can point out is Egypt. Hmm. Them people was pharaohs, queens, and stuff. But when they died, they buried themselves with their riches, correct? But it was a purpose. It was a ritual behind all that stuff. Hmm. Everything they 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 spent more time alive preparing for their death. Yes, no? Y'all spend more time alive. Hmm. They spend more time alive preparing for their death. Y'all dead. Y'all y'all right now like the walking dead preparing for, for this temporary life. What do you mean? For this short life. What what can you get out of? Y'all not even thinking about the long, the long run. You see what I'm saying? The people in the past, they thought about the long run. They, they might have been off a little bit, but in each and every single less ancient civilization, they believe in the afterlife. You hear, you hear something about, uh, you hear something about, mm -hmm. this. What, what you mean, Ez? I mean this, y'all ever hear about the founding youth? Uh, y'all you, watched that, uh, what's that, Pirates of the Caribbean movie? They was, they was fighting over that in one of them movies, the founding youth. In the book of Genesis, you got the, the tree of life. Where ancient Egypt, they believe in the afterlife, man. You see what I'm saying? We don't. What's good, Reese? I see you, boy. <laughs> Congratulations, too, bro. Uh, but uh, people don't think nothing about afterlife. <laughs> they, not think, they, they barely think anything about this life. In fact, <laughs> man, listen. The rich man asked the great question. What good thing must I do to get eternal life? <laughs> people not thinking about living forever. To be honest with you. In fact, <laughs> They end their life even quicker. You don't hear the people. You don't. You don't hear the people talk like this. This is how you hear the people talk. I'm on demon time, right? Listen. Listen to the words people saying. I'm on demon time. Mm -hmm. They letting you know, damn it, where they at already. He said, "What good thing must I do to get eternal life?" The title of this is the rich in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is something that exists in three: mind, body, and spirit. It's the everything exists in three: solid, liquid, and gas. <laughs> So the kingdom of God exists in three. It's a physical place, heaven. It's a mental, it's a mind, it's, it's a mental uh, realm where you thinking as the Lord think to some degree. And it's uh, also mind, body. It's, it's, a, it's a physical thing where the people make up the body, uh, body of Christ, mind, body, and spirit. It's, it's the three things right here. But listen to what the brother's saying, man. He said, why, Jesus said, why are you asking me about what is good? He replied, there is only one who is good. I like that. J Ain't no one on earth had a perfect walk than Jesus. And he himself, he the only one that could say, I am good. But he himself even uh, attribute, attributing full goodness to God the Father. I love that. I love that a lot. He said, there is only one who is good. Uh, if you want to enter life, keep the commandments. Which ones? The young man asked. Jesus said, you shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. Honor your mother, father, and love your neighbor as yourself. He gave him six commands. All six of these commands got to do with people. All right. What you trying to say is, uh, truly, to make a long story short, uh, the people out of line with the Lord. Let me keep on going before I get here. The young man said, all these I kept. What do I still lack? Jesus answered. If you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When a young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Listen, it's easy to, the, the easiest thing to do is to walk away. Yes. The young man had great wealth. That was what, that was what was in his possession. Jesus told him six commands that he had down packed, but he was missing. It's 10 commandments on the 10 commandments. Jesus read six of them out to him. <laughs> and these six that he read to him had to do with people. The other four had to do with God. The young man had possession. Whatever's in your possession, the young man had it right with people. 
you might have it right with people. Mm. It's always the first commandment that we that's, that throw us off. What you mean, Ashley? The first commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. In the book of Exodus, the Lord said, uh, I am the Lord your God. You should have no other gods before me. What you trying to say, Ashley? Many people, uh, I guess the big question is, is God, is Allah a part of your life? Or is he, or is he your life? What you mean? I heard someone ask that question and, and it hit me. <laughs> truth be told, Jesus said the truth. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And it do free you to some degree to even understand conscien consciously in our minds. <laughs> even in, even, <laughs> listen to me, man. Consciously in our minds, we might think we all, we all the way in. But subconsciously, we doing something we 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 shouldn't be doing, unaware, un, unknown. <laughs> well, it's a blessing to to know what you're doing wrong, <laughs> to to be able to see what you're doing wrong, to to know you want to do right, but you're still doing something wrong. That making any sense to you? <laughs> subconsciously, we we doing stuff wrong. We want to be right. Uh, most people who conscious don't even see this. <laughs> to be able to admit this uh, is even a word that say. If I can find it, I had it right here. I think I'm on that. Yeah. <clears throat> and E class of chapter eight, verse. Uh, 17 said, despite all their efforts to search it out, no one can discover its meaning. Even the wise, even if the wise claim they know, they really cannot comprehend it. Mm -hmm. That's 100% true right there. What are you trying to say is, uh, even the stuff that we understand, we really don't understand all the way. Uh, well, with the little bit that we do understand. Talking to myself. Mm -hmm. Why are you? Is God a part of your life? Is Allah a part of your life? Or is he your whole life? And, uh, to most of us, he a part of our life. <laughs> if you got a wife, do you want your wife to be a part of your life? <laughs> or your whole wife? <laughs> you want her to be your whole wife. You don't, you don't want her to give anything else to nothing. To nobody, right? Same thing, vice versa, if you're a woman. You want your husband to be... A part of your husband or to be all of your husband. <laughs> you don't want to God Allah said he a jealous God. This ain't a a, a human jealousy. Like I'm jealous because I ain't got this or I'm jealous because you got that or whatever. Nah. <laughs> Belong to me. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And it's rather you all the way in or not at all. Where and truth of the matter is the people not all the way in. I'm talking about myself. And it's Better to focus. I might, I know I might come off on y'all hard a little bit, this and that, but I talk to myself a lot too and get on myself a lot too. Why? And, uh, before I can straighten out anyone else, uh, I must I must examine myself. Uh, you see what I'm saying? And truth of the matter is, the Lord want to be everything in a person's life, not just a part. Here's what is he to you? <laughs> I just told you. You could be 80 percent 80, 80 in. He don't want 80, he want hundred <laughs> percent. It don't matter if you're ninety-five percent, he don't want ninety-five, he want he want hundred <laughs> percent. And truth of the matter is, I'm not right there at hundred percent. I wanna be. The easiest thing to do is walk away. When a young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. <laughs> Listen, what what you mean? <laughs> the Lord he wants you, he, he wants 100%. And Jesus told the young man to go sell your possessions. <laughs> you know, whatever we possess, we sometimes, it, most people, you don't got to have a whole lot. <laughs> it could be a little bit. <laughs> people, uh, whatever you possess, <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you, you need it more than you need a lot. 
could be your job. Listen to me, man. If I, if I ain't got source of income, this and that, I'm putting my I'm putting my hopes into something. If my hope ain't a hundred percent in Allah, Him and Him alone, it can't be nobody else. If, if I got a support system, let's say one day stuff people start uh, supporting, people start looking out and sending in donations, this and that or whatever. I can't depend on that. It got to be him and him alone. Because yeah, that can get cut off. The people can, they can look out and they can not look out. You hear me? The job, it can be on and it can be off. The money, it can be coming in, it can be coming in. Listen, it got to be him and him alone. At the end of the day. 100%. Not just a part of my life, but my whole life. You see what I'm saying? And I realize this. This is why I, I understand the Lord let stuff go on because you you must realize this. Many people never realize this. Why? The young man had possessions. <laughs> he had stuff. If any type of leverage you got <laughs> that you could use, isn't it? Uh, that's why when Jesus went into the wilderness, he was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan. <laughs> And he was hungry. He fasted four days, four nights. Satan said to him, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. <laughs> Jesus could have easily did that. He could have he easily turned stones into bread. <laughs> Listen to me, man. <laughs> if he is who he say he is, <laughs> he got a lot of power. Yeah. <laughs> but what he said, he said, man, don't live on bread alone. But on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord, the very first thing Satan wants the people to do is act independent of God. He won't do nothing wrong, but he, but Satan ain't do nothing but tell Jesus to tell these stones to become bread. He want him to feed himself. Yes, no. It's, it's it's something very small, but it's something a big meaning behind that. You see what I'm saying? Satan wants Jesus to feed himself. Jesus, the, Allah, God the Father, already had something. <laughs> he already had a provider for him. He just had to wait. We don't want to wait. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Wants up to work just like that. <laughs> but he, he already had a provider for him. He just had to wait. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, the Lord, Allah already had the angels right there <laughs> to come and tend to Jesus <laughs> after, after he left them. After the tenth left, you see what I'm saying? Where the Lord already got it right there. But he'd take us through a course. We, we don't see this. Alright. And we wanna try to do something. <laughs> As natural. You see what I'm saying? The Lord wanna the Lord wanna I say it in my junk sometimes. <laughs> uh, the Lord to strip everything away from you <laughs> to get you to a, a point of complete dependency of him and him alone. <laughs> I say that <laughs> word. <laughs> I, I even I understand that, <laughs> but just like I say, and e classes, even the wise, even if they claim to know, they can't fully comprehend it. <laughs> if they truly are wise, you see what I'm saying? What you trying? What you what you saying is <laughs> those who know don't fully know all the way yet. I don't fully understand everything all the way yet. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> It's not a shame to admit this. All right. Even if the wise claim they know, they cannot really comprehend it all the way. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I just told you. Uh, I like that. That's the truth right there. When a young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Uh, then Jesus said to his disciples, truly, I tell you, it's hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Why you say that? You don't gotta have a lot, a lot of money. Riches can be many things. <laughs> Word. Uh, you could be rich in prayer. You could be rich in many things. You see what I'm saying? The, the point is, you ain't in a hundred uh, percent complete dependency on Allah. Word. <laughs> this is to enter the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> Not to be saved, to enter the kingdom of heaven. 
to enter the king. <laughs> Listen, man. You say by faith what's gone, what's, uh, you say by faith, uh, you say by grace, uh, which comes through faith. I eat fees and said, I know the word. There's three things in my tongue right now. You say by grace, which uh, comes through faith, and this is not from yourself, it's the work of God. Somewhere along those lines. Right. Bear with me. I ain't scripted no coordinate. Yeah. Uh, forced by grace, you've been saved through faith, and it's not from yourself. All right. You saved by grace, which comes through faith. The young man asks, what, what can I do then? Uh, what good thing must I do to, to get eternal life? Uh, Jesus said, it's hard for the rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Why are you saying this? Because you ain't com you ain't in complete dependency of Allah. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? As long as you can, you got some type of something you can depend on. You ain't where to enter the kingdom of heaven is uh, is uh, it means three things. It's the, it's the mind, body, and spirit thing. You see what I'm saying? Well, you must be in complete dependency of him, of him, and him alone. You can't depend on money. <laughs> Job, resource, anything, and all these things <laughs> fail. You you look into these things. Yes, no. <laughs> but uh, when the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, uh, "Who can be saved?" Jesus looked at them and said, "Well, man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible." You see, <laughs> word. Uh, Peter answered him, We have left everything to follow you. What then will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses, brothers, sisters, or father, mother, or wife, or children, or fields, for my sake, will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and many who are last will be first. All right. You see, uh, I went there. Because the people don't talk about eternal life and stuff like that. In fact, they teach you how to uh, get possessions and stuff like that. What you mean? <laughs> they want you to get the world first and this and that. <clears throat> Uh, Jesus said in Matthew and Luke chapter 12, uh, verse 15, watch out and be on your guard against all kinds of greed, against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. You see, <laughs> most of the thing, life uh, means having stuff. <laughs> it's not everything, man. You know what I mean? It's nice to have things, but that's not everything. Right. Um, it ain't everything. I was going to keep going, but uh, I don't really got to keep on going. I'm going to get y'all a little bit. But yeah, uh, I like that a whole lot. Uh, is Allah part of your life or is he your life? You know what I mean? And the young man, he went away sad when Jesus told him to give up his possessions. And listen, the Lord don't care about you. You could be very rich, man. <laughs> the Lord, he said, he, the, the earth is here. He said, he, he, he said, he said, ask you. And I, I made the ends of the earth your possession. And the Lord will bless you. Give you he'll give you what you can't even think or imagine of. You hear me? <laughs> if you don't put that before him, truly. You see what I'm saying? Most people, they don't understand that. You know what I mean? And, or, if, I truly believe with all my deeds, if you put Allah at the center of your life, nothing, nothing over him. It ain't nothing he won't get. You see what I'm saying? Like word. I truly believe that uh, most of us not ready for that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because we don't we don't know how to put him over stuff. The moment stuff gone, we <laughs> kind of tripping out a little bit. Yes, no <laughs> word. Like uh, <laughs> you tell, you got resources, money, lose your money. <laughs> then see, <laughs> can't pay bills or don't got nothing going on. <laughs> see where you at. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It ain't just about the money. I'm just saying it's. He said, love the Lord your God with your heart, mind, and soul. Listen, man. <laughs> a lot of stuff uh, throw us off in many ways where you 
subconsciously not paying attention. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Constantly, const we make it, we... Man, I don't even want to hurt your head. <laughs> it was hard to explain what, 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 what popped up in my jaw sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, word. Word. But, uh, you know, it's one of the easiest things to do is walk away. And one of the hardest things to do is to admit the truth and see the truth. But it's the truth that's going to set you free. <laughs> Most people, they, they think they're right there when they're not. I just now told you, <laughs> not right there yet. You see what I'm saying? I want to be. It's the realization of the truth, but <laughs> my word. And this and that. Uh, and that's what a person got to uh, examine and and press uh, press store. You see what I'm saying? Like, uh, word. I'm getting off it. <laughs> word. I, I think that's pretty cool. I, I like the truth. It is. The truth is like, you see what I'm saying? Like where that John, that John real that, that most people uh, they not making a lot. God is the part of their life, not the whole life. You see what I'm saying? It gotta be him, man. For everything, person looking to. You see what I'm saying? Where can't look no one else for nothing. Where, you see what I'm saying? Like where even that make any sense to you? It make a whole lot of sense to me. You see what I'm saying? But I'm getting off him. All right. I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. Y'all keep on praying for me too. And, uh, keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. going to give it to you. All right? It's the Holy Spirit leading you. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus going to lead us to be home with our Father. And have one day. Get up out of here. You dig? Until then, man. I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. See y'all again.